Bay Shore Home Health here. Yulia Bekronova and Jackie Hickey. Good to have you both here. It's great to be here. Yeah. Wow. So uh, Bay Shore Home Health has been rated very highly, right? Tell we are. We are one of the, the leading providers of home and community care across the country. And we've been doing it since 1966. And I think the beauty of where we are right now with home and community care is what we're seeing within our health care system and what we're seeing through the media. Mm. People are hungry for the home care programs. Um, some of the statistics that I've just been made aware of is that through a survey we just did, um, we've got 49% of Canadians that are in that baby boomer um, situation. How many? 49? 49% 49 of half Canadians, wow. almost half, are, uh, half of the population. Million. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're looking for more support and more um, uh, care when it comes to looking after their aging parents. And 50% and of Canadians are providing 17 hours a week of care to their loved ones. So think about it. You know, you've got your aging parents on one side, your children, your family on, on on the other, you work a full day, and you still have to get out there and and you know look after and support your aging parents. And, and there was a time when everybody was in the same home, and so the aging parents could help with the kid child care. And but we don't live that way anymore. So what is the solution? The solution is to keep people in their own homes for as long as possible, in a healthy uh, independence, right? And I think you know that's where Yulia really can bring the, the the Bayshore story and the home care story forward, because there's so many nurses and healthcare professionals that are stepping outside of the institution and moving into individuals' homes. And I think, you know, some of the experience that you've had with families and being the extension of a family and providing that hospital at home um, really, I think, is, is, is touching and, and it's needed. Tell me about some of the things that you would do for a client. Do we call them clients or patients? Clients. Clients, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, we can do everything to our clients, absolutely everything. I'm Bathing. Yes, yeah. definitely. Medication. Yeah, not only medications, therapeutic health. Uh, it's extended to householding, like uh, preparation of meals, uh, accompanying to doctor's appointment, like absolutely everything that, that they need. And also we can do it not only in uh, Greater Ontario, but all over the Canada, really. Because there are so many wonderful locations now, right? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's such a needed service, and the people you deal with, your clients, must come to love you, not just depend on you, but to love you uh, as a family member, right? Yes, usually we become a family members, right? Um, unfortunately, sometimes we lose patients, some of them are palliative, but even after, we keep in touch with the families. Nice. Yeah, and it's like very honest relationships. Wow, that's important when the family also uh, feels such great respect for what you do. They're going through very difficult processes, so and we hopefully, uh, I think we can help to go through all this process. Do, how do people start uh, to uh, set up this uh, service for their for themselves at home? It really starts um, a lot of times in crisis, mm -hmm. um, but we really have to start moving towards that proactive approach. So instead of waiting for, oh, what are we going to do when mom comes out of the hospital? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have to say, we have those conversations earlier? We do. We have to start having those conversations earlier. And I know with, with Bayshore, what our goal is really to help people plan plan their aging journey, plan their um, recovery journey. And so we start that conversation, you know, our nurses will go directly into the hospital and start having the conversation about home care, what happens after they leave the hospital, setting up that plan, and then going in there. And as, as Yulia said, we can cover all the necessities so that loved one can be with their spouse, their child, their husband, their wife, 
and not have to worry about all the other things to run the household. Oh, it's so important. Before we uh, run out of time, let's talk about the Go the Extra Mile campaign real quick. Absolutely. And you know, what we've done with Bayshore is really try to allow people to share their story. And, you know, as Yulia did, share the story of what a nurse's experience is working in home and community care. And it's any person out there that has a story to share about they're a family caregiver, they're caring for their, their loved one, they're a healthcare practitioner, um, they are a neighbor, they are a friend. And so by going to, um, and I think the website is going to trickle yep. on the screen, yep, I'll mention that in a moment. Um, it's going to that website and telling your story, story. Share your story because we learn from stories, we learn from people's And they experience. can do it online, uh, bhhextramile.ca and also bayshore.ca. Thank you so much. Thank you.